Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. It has been a long series, and the plan is that today is the finale of making our million lair Damascus seal katana. Thank you so much for joining me. The forge is lit behind me because it's a cold day and we have a lot of fiddly work to do here on the suka. As we left off yesterday, I let you know that the next step was indeed wrapping the cotton onto the handle. So I took to the internet and I found a website by Andreas Brackbush where I found a template so you can make your own paper deals that go on top of the handle for when you wrap the cob. And I've made my own to match the length of the handle and the width of the cotton cord. So I've got my pieces cut out here. There is an issue, however, is uh, it didn't look like it scaled as perfectly as it should have. Oh well, and the other issue is, and I didn't know this when I made the handle, you gotta make the handle so it's an odd number of cotton cord widths. Now, cotton cord widths once it's stretched out in length. Otherwise, the issue that you then have is the issue that I'm gonna have, which is that you can't get the wraps to go up it. That's one problem. Another problem is Captain Doofus over here, that's me, uh, did not uh, put the holes in into the Stingray leather before I glued the leather on. So I don't have holes. We need to find where the holes are. like an hour and a half to poke those two holes. An hour and a half! It was so difficult because I have no idea where the hole in the wood is and the whole point of it was. I made the hole in the wood that it was super accurate to like 0.1 millimeters as you saw in yesterday's episode. I don't think it's gonna be accurate to 0.1 millimeters anymore but the holes are there. It's now time to think about the step that I'm really dreading. I was dreading that. Boy am I dreading this. I need to start wrapping the handle. The side that faces in. Ura mune. It's like learning a new language. What do you mean it's like learning a new language? It is learning a new language. That's a very very good point, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm not sure if this paper thing is incredibly essential. I think it helps keep it all together and helps keep it all neat. Um, I, I'm going to see. We're going to be giving it a try. I've also seen a video of a guy. He used a piece of electrical tape so that when he was uh, gluing onto the electrical tape, um, I'm going to be using glue. I don't think I'm at all good enough to not use glue. Um, he can then glue onto electrical tape instead of straight onto the handle. <laughs> It's, it's going terribly. Okay! Worked terribly. It would appear... Ah! This is very dangerous work! Super glue? This is no joke! Okay, much better. Now I just need to get it glued. Gotta be very careful. <sighs> Can't make any mistakes. This is so difficult. Come on! Ow, 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 ow! This is not appropriate arts and crafts glue. This is industrial ethyl 2 cyanacrylate. Oh boy. Double sided tape. Tape. This is too thick, but I'm gonna hold on to it for a second. Make a nice bracelet out of it. Double sided tape. Come on, double sided tape. No! Masking tape. Yes! Double-sided tape. <laughs> I believe you call that a clogged blade. What? Nah, didn't work. 
This was a bad idea! And ladies and gentlemen, that's how you get two rolls of tape from one. I've, uh, mm, yeah, I've made a little bit of a mess there, um, so that's uh, a worry. Now, there is another way that people do this. He says, acting as if he knows what he's doing. I have no idea what it is that I'm doing. But there's another way that people do this, which is instead of this, where you have the thing go around the whole way, they just have these tiny little triangles, and they manually slip them in. Um, so last attempt now is going to be, I'm going to cut these little triangles, and we're going to see if we can start wrapping it with electrical tape on the side, super gluing as we go, putting the triangles in. Hopefully this works. So I hope I have enough of this material. I'm not particularly sure if I do, because I had no idea how much I needed. So when I went on the website and I bought it, I just bought whatever length it was that they said, assuming that they'd probably be selling lengths that are good enough for a katana. What's it look like? 12 feet? So, got the halfway point, and on to the double-sided tape we go. Now, I gotta work out what I gotta do next. Holy macaroni! This is gonna be very difficult doing this um, for the final uh, for the final wrap here. This is just me testing and experimenting, and you can see there are a couple of things I've learned. Which is one, I can't have electrical tape um, up there, and it cannot be that wide because you can see electrical tape through it. Two, I need to be careful with where it is I put my double-sided tape, but that's fine. This is not the final thing. I can pull that off of there. And three, there's a hole that's meant to be on this side, but you can't see it from the other side. That's a problem because I need to get a peg in there because that's the large side of the hole, and so you need to be able to <laughs> poke it in from here. So I don't know how I'm going to fix that. Uh, frankly, I don't know how I'm doing any of this. I have to say, though, it looks like a katana wrap. I don't know where these things go, and frankly, at this point, I'm not sure it needs it. I don't know what it would serve. So what do I do? It's a good question. I was hoping somebody else would have the answer, because I don't know what I'm going to do. So I thought I was doing it right, but then I'm looking up here, and I'm seeing how the spacing looks different. It doesn't look like they're getting any air gaps way up here in it, so I've got to be doing something wrong. The way they're doing this fold here with the, with the cotton seems to be very different. My understanding of what it is that you do is you simply come across and you give it a twist and then go back around the other way. But they're saying fold. What does fold mean? What I mean? Does that mean something different? Is that maybe fold at 90 degrees? Is that any different? Is it a full twist? No. And I believe as you come across, you then twist it in the other direction or fold it in the other direction. I have no clue what I'm doing. That doesn't look any different. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull all this off of there. I'm going to make sure, I'm going to cut down my electrical tape and put a thinner piece of electrical tape on. I'm going to get rid of the thing at the beginning and I'm just going to super glue that on. And I'm going to start going and I'm going to make sure that I bunch it all up as I go. And hopefully that's going to get us where we need to be. <laughs> three quarters of the way up the handle and I already have six hours of wrapping gone. I've given up on the paper triangles. It was too difficult for me to put them in. I don't know enough of what it is that I'm doing. I couldn't follow the diagrams or any of the tutorials I could find online. So I made it up as we go and this is what I'm doing. And I think by hook or by crook, by luck, this is actually a proper way of doing it. I'm doing one full twist and I do it by making a fold and then twisting all the way over so it goes all all the way over and then as the next piece comes across that also gets a full twist but you do your half twists in such a way that almost encapsulates the first piece that goes across the other way and you alternate directions so that it supposedly won't untwist and holy moly the amount of tension that you've got to keep while you're doing it my hands are exhausted it is so tiring I'm pulling and pulling and pulling I'm using super glue as we go on every other one just to make sure that we can lock it in and 
and keep it tight. This is a massive, massive undertaking. I never ever would have thought wrapping a katana with cotton would be so difficult. This is a fascinating experience. I'm gonna keep going, and then it's on to tying the knot. Again, something I have no idea how to do. I have no idea how to tie the knot. There are plenty of diagrams. I'm probably gonna have to end up making it up as I go. Okay, so I had major, major difficulty understanding any of the diagrams I looked at online, so I've ended up doing this. First things first, with the cord, I wrapped it into the hole, back down, underneath this side, back over with a pretty fold right there, back through, underneath, over, folded, and then doubled it over, and I'm now pushing it back into the hole. Been putting enormous pressure on it, trying to get it in there as deep as I can, while I still think I can go further. I'm now gonna blunt in my <laughs> nice kiridashi and cut off the excess material before finishing to shove it into the hole and hopefully make it um, make it a seamless and invisible end to the cotton wrap. There is a lot of pressure on there, and I think I have done it. That is the handle wrap. Wow, that's, that's exciting. Well, I see daylight. At least that means that the holes line up. It's time to make a tapered peg. just carved another one because the last one was a little loose and uh, off camera there I've already installed it but uh, this is a problem it's in a big problem yes that's right it looks like when I drove the pin in it is in fact pulled the handle back and created more gap that's a serious serious issue well it looks like the only way that I'm gonna be able to fix this is by making another spacer maybe to replace it and maybe as an additional one either which way this is an annoyance but something to overcome So we have our little extra space up made up, and I've made it to be the size here of the end with a little bit of rounding, a little bit of air looming. Hopefully that's just gonna look rather lovely up against the cotton. It is much thinner than the last spacer, about three quarters of the width. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put it all together and see if when we put our little wooden peg in, this all works. You see it's a little proud there up on top. However, before I do anything to that, I just want to see if when I put this peg in, everything stays tight. There's no point taking it apart and tweaking it, only to find that it doesn't end up working. Everything's rock solid, the peg needs to be whittled down a little bit there, however.
160 hours and the katana is complete. It has been an unbelievable challenge. I had no clue if I could make it. But with this, this project that has taken longer than any other project I've ever undertaken, I've learned so much. I've been so humbled. I've learned how much there is to learn. It has been fantastically enjoyable. And I sincerely hope you've enjoyed watching these 14 parts. If you haven't watched any of the other parts and this is the first video you've watched, there's a link in the description below. Make sure you go back to part one. Enjoy your way the whole way through. See the trials, the tribulations, the mistakes I made, the successes I had, and see what it is that I learned as I built this throughout the whole 14 parts. I'd love it if you'd share the videos with your friends. Drop a like, of course. Leave your comments. What is it that you want us to make next? Because we're going to be back tomorrow with more daily videos on the projects that we work on. I can't wait to see you then. At 500,000 subscribers, we're going to be doing a fantastic Fruit Ninja session, not only with this katana, but with a lot of the other projects that we've been making here in the last year. So I can't wait to see you then. Can't wait to see you tomorrow. Thank you all for your continued viewership and your wonderful, wonderful comments throughout this entire process. I cannot wait to see you soon.